God, how the fuck do I start this guy? Just, <laughs> just Metal Gear Solid. You know, it's it's about boxes. It's about what? I, I, it's about boxes. I think it's a a box simulator. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah so maybe uh, yeah, maybe start yeah, somewhere like that. Calls inside boxes. That's basically the gist of it. Okay, hello, puglets out there. This is David from PowerUpGaming.co.uk. I'm here with Mr. Scott Russell and Mr. Nathan Crossland. We're here to talk about the box simulator Metal Gear, the series, and uh, talk about our favorite moments because we're all super excited about uh, Metal Gear Solid Five coming out in about two weeks now, three weeks. But uh, yeah, so here we'll talk about our favorite moments and uh, favorite games. That was good. Well done. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. You enjoyed you enjoy that. Thank you. I did enjoy that. Yeah, yeah it was fun. It was a nice, nice way to get in. So, uh, so Scott, what is? Do you want to start us off with your favorite game? I think I, I think I know my, what it is. My favorite game. My my favorite, favorite me- Metal my, Gear game. My, not not just my favorite Metal Gear game, but my favorite game of all time, which is Metal Gear Solid Four: Guns of the Patriots. Technical espionage action. <laughs> Se- second <laughs> subtitle because they all need to have that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's my favorite game, which I think is probably not everyone's favorite game. Oh, oh yes, definitely not everyone. Yeah, no, I don't, not everyone. I don't. Not think everyone's it. in this call. <laughs> no, no. That's why well, we're... I mean, I've al- I've already, if I, I've, I've, I already know the the that Dave's favorite one is also one that I don't like. So, it's it, it's fine. I'm trapped here now. I'm trapped. <laughs> I yeah, it's a it's a weird pick. I think I think it's the pick that has probably the least amount of gameplay, the most amount of cutscenes. Oh, but it's so For, such good cutscenes. Oh, they are. They such are good. They are. Scenes. They are lovely. Like, they are good. Yeah, I, I probably need to replay it now, yeah. like to kind of like now that because I've been. A, weird sort of situation with Belgus all this like I didn't play that I haven't played that one for years because of my PS3 break in I'd probably enjoy it a hell of a lot more if I played it now oh but yeah back, I... back then it was like especially with that end cutscene I was basically I've just finished a game I don't want to watch a movie now yeah, that, you know? that's I, how I felt <laughs> I, I usually if I ever finish the game I then save the game and then I'll come back the next day and watch that whole cutscene and it'll be my own special little I don't know movie time, you know, because it, cause it it can't be if you're playing it at like two in the morning, you finish it, you cannot yeah. watch an hour and a half cutscene after that. But I, I'm replaying it right now, and I've just got to Act yeah. Three, and it's so good. That that game is a ten out of ten all round. Oh, yeah. That that is what I would say. Yeah, Controversial I was, I was watching that that final battle in it is just amazing. I was just watching it, and it's just. My God! Like it is, it is. The ending, ending is fantastic all around. But yeah, yeah. yeah I, f- I feel like everything's tied up nicely, which is why <laughs> the piece of shit that comes after Metal Gear Solid Four, which is Rising Revengeance, is an, a god awful atrocity. Oh come on! No, oh, no, no. no. It's a, it's a platinum games game. Oh, you know? games. It's beautiful. It, it plays fantastically. It's just the controls. It feels so nice, but it's. Not a Metal Gear Solid game. Oh, no, dear, they, they ruined Raiden's life again. They ruined oh, his life. no, they couldn't was, ruin his life any they, further. Oh, he was fine. He was with little Jack. <laughs> and they were. They looked, at, they looked at themselves in a mirror at the end. Spoilers. <laughs> and he hugged his wife, and then she wasn't fucking the old guy. And, uh... <laughs> It was it was happy. It was happy. And then he got his arms cut off again, and it was dreadful. Yeah. It was dreadful. And he became a cyborg ninja on a motorbike. With a dog. Oh, he he wore a dog. With a dog. With a dog, yeah. He wore a poncho. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. No. It, no. Was, it was crazy. It was over the top it of mental. It was. I didn't, I didn't like it. And then Sonny was there. But she was. She looked oh, yeah. like she was like 15. <laughs> she was like 10. She, she, they had really uh, Japanese, Japanese her. In That's the what the whole game was, though. It's just uh, really... It's very Japanese. The yeah. music was just... <laughs> I actually really enjoyed the music. It was really cheesy, but it was just like just the heavy, fast rock. I really enjoyed Metal Gear Rising, but I just, it was one of the biggest hack and slash games I got into. I never got into Devil May Cry or anything. Uh, but the, I mean, the, the, those, the, it's this particular thing that Platinum Games does well, though, isn't it? The character action games are just that they make are just freaking incredible. Uh, I mean, I, I did get into Metal Gear Solid in the first one, but nothing after that. Uh, yeah. 
really. No, well, I think I played a little bit of two, but screw that. Not, screw much, that. not much of a fan of Platinum or, or their work. Sorry. Um, oh, oh, it's fine. I wasn't uh, until um, until oh, no. Plat- until uh, Bayonetta and Metal Gear. And now I'm really looking forward to a Transformers game, <laughs> which is really weird. I, I played Vanquish, and I just... Uh, I I'm not feeling it. I didn't feel anything about it. And I get them confused with Ninja Theory as well. Oh, but I no, like, that's not so... Well, I feel like Ninja Theory are better. Uh, maybe you don't agree. Mm. Oh, no, I definitely don't agree there. I definitely 110% don't agree there. <laughs> well. no, I get, which one's the one? Ninja Theory... Is that Ninja Gaiden? Uh, they made Heavenly no? Sword, and they made DMC, uh. like the reboot that came out oh. recently, and they're doing, they made Enslaved Odyssey to the then, West. Then, they're not the ones that made, um, what you call it, because uh, there's one that I also always get them mixed up with as well. That also I think have Ninja in the title, in the in the name of the the studio, and they made Other M. Uh, is that the other one? I I I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, anyway, to- you know, know metric. Well, we're getting off topic. Anyway, yeah, you know, we're getting very off to, topic. Was. Back to Metal Gear Solid Four, yeah. which <laughs> is which accumulates in a perfect ending. In every sense of the word, and then when "Here's to You" begins to play, and you shed a tear, uh, that that is just it's beautiful, beautiful all around. And it's also really, really weird, really weird in almost every way as well. Like, I mean, there's a monkey that smokes a cigarette. There's a <laughs> ma- there's a black man that burps. There's a bunch of weird women that dress up as oh, robots, yeah. but they're really yeah. good boss battles. I have like I I I played this the octopus one yesterday, and it's it's pretty well done, it's pretty clever. Yeah. It's I don't know. I I feel like they're they're really strange though. They're weirdly like sexual in a kind yeah. of horrific way, and I'm like, well, like why like why is this girl trying to hug the old man I'm like Kojima? Yeah, you know, like Kojima. What, what, <laughs> because what, Japan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. It's so it's so weird. Like, and then why? Otacon has got another girl, mm. but she's gonna die. Otacon. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> and why is he trying to go out with his sister in, t- in the second one? I don't know. Uh. I, anyway, that's that'll that'll probably come up at another time. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid Four. I've talked about a bunch of reasons why people probably wouldn't like it, but I think it's I think it's the best one. It's my favorite. I think there are a lot of wonderful moments in it, and I think I can just. At that time, like 2008, when that came out, I can just picture myself playing all of these moments, and they just all stand out to me. I don't know. I can just, I can just use use the images in my head like a puzzle and just piece together everything that's come before, and just I don't know. It ties off nicely. I think. It look. It looks. It still looks amazing. Oh, it I does. was looking yeah. at it, and it still it looks like a PS4 game. Like, it, it just. Does. It just looks. It's definitely you, you know like it feels like something that should have came out towards the end of the PS3's era, yeah. you know, like like Snake Eater, like Snake Eater came out at the end of the PS2, or yeah. wasn't it close to the end, and it looked ama- it looked really good, so... Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, they, they definitely did that, I mean, I think they kind of blew their load at the start of that generation, and they should, yeah. have, maybe, should have maybe brought out five by the end of the last one, you know, <laughs> that, that, could have, that could have been useful, because that, yeah. that's maybe what's led to Kojima getting fired or leaving. Oh, I don't know. I, th- I think it might be a, a lot deeper seated than that. In, in yeah. Terms of what, what, how Konami and treatment of employees, really. Yeah. Yeah, well. Spying and all that. All that yeah, the, well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's come out. We'll get on to that we later, will. We will. later on, though. So, yeah, 4, four is my favourite. The best. My favourite game of all time. Nathan, what is your favourite game of the <laughs> oh, series? Well, <laughs> my favourite happens to be Snake Eater. Um, I originally it would have been the original Metal Gear Solid just because of the fact that it like just blew my mind as a child when it first came out and playing through then. But as an adult, I've played uh, Snake Eater and just absolutely fantastic. I mean, the the tons of cinematic moments in it that just completely blew me away, and the fight scenes are great. But it never strayed into being too much cinematic and not enough gameplay. I mean, alright, there was obviously a lot of very long-winded cutscenes, and but it, again, it's another one of those fantastic uh, Metal Gear Solid things where it never takes itself too seriously while still edging on the seriousness, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I think I think that one is great, because I think it's, it's nice to 
see a different character as like the protagonist. Mm. It's nice because Solid Snake, Solid Snake's really great. But I think at the end of the day, like you play as him in one, and then in two he's not really there that much, and then four he's pretty much different in that he's an old man, and then he's kind of gone. Whereas it's I don't know, it's nice to get more of a kind of more emotional character because Solid Snake's kind of cold, cold hearted like a lot of the time. So I think mm. that was nice, and it was nice, you know, seeing someone who's pretty different uh, and who reacts differently or acts differently, I should say, with other characters, that sort of thing. Yeah, it, it was it was a great way to sort of understand the reason why uh, Big Boss became the person that he did, because yeah. Yeah. you know, it, in the end, it wasn't uh, it wasn't really him. He did turn on the government, but the government, in a way, turned on him beforehand yeah, by his, getting his mentor killed just. You know, just to try and, yeah. it's, it's, you know, yeah, they, they like it's she had to, well, she, she had to sacrifice herself yeah. in order to appear to be a spy, well, uh, in order to be going over to their side. Yeah, it was so that it was so that the Russians and the Americans would be yeah. friends because they have a common enemy because yeah. because she was involved with the nuke with Vulcan at the start. Yeah, but she was just a scapegoat at the end of it. Yeah, with, yeah. With, for everything. Yeah, so it's pretty emotionally powerful at the end, I guess. It's more of a... It's kind of bittersweet ending. Yeah. I've, absolutely. I mean, I had a tear in my eye when... You know, the, you, there's the East Drug going into first-person mode when he's looking at Boss's grave, yeah. and he's tearing up, and yeah. you're like, doll. Yeah. Oh. For a snake. He's, he's yeah, not yeah. I played that recently, and the tear is just perfectly white. So I don't know. I don't know if he's got some <laughs> riding blood in him. You know, he might, he might do. It's like, it wasn't a natural tear. But we'll give, no. give it to him anyway. <laughs> uh, I love that that game like broke, broke for it wall with the uh, with the Raiden mask and the um the, the <laughs> was the colonel yeah. the colonel that looked just like Raiden yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you had the Volgan right out of it Rykov or something Rykov that's yeah, it. He, he's like Volgan's bitch. Yeah, <laughs> which, yeah. Is, which is maybe a bit inappropriate. <laughs> and, he, and he and he recognizes uh, Snake by the fact that he grabs his balls. Yeah, he's like, your your <laughs> balls lower than that one. <laughs> you must be a different man. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> now I must torture you. <laughs> oh, God. That's horrible. That torture scene is pretty. Rough. Oh yeah, that is oh, pretty. Damn it. He kicks the then, shit out of Snake. And then then he gets his like his eye shot. He does. Like, he does somehow yeah. not killing him. Just yeah, yeah. Convenient. It was definitely the most like the most graphic of all the um of all the torture ones because there's yeah. one in Peace Walker as well. It's I just saw just yesterday yeah. and it's pretty bad as well. But <coughs> there's no eyes flying out or anything, you know. So no, no, no electricity. I don't think. Do we know how Vulgan is electric? Because I don't, I don't think it's ever explained. The same, no, the same. Nano machines didn't exist. No, like, there was no mano, nano machines in it's there. Odd. It would be, it, it, uh, we never learned how the end like like eats sunlight or whatever. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's pho- photosynthesized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange game. I mean, yeah. there's yeah. a man that controls bees. And the astronaut. The pain! The pain! <laughs> oh, those, those boss battles are great. Those are great oh, they, are. they are, because they're all such kind of massively dynamic characters, aren't they? Oh, yeah, I think yeah. That's, that, that's what defines the Metal Gear Solid. Uh, boss battles really that they're just these kind of huge characters. Yeah, they're yeah. crazy. They're, yeah, they're absolutely so especially bonkers. like legendary warriors, aren't they? Really? All yeah. Them. They kind of died like idiots, though. He kind of <laughs> kind of kills them pretty easily. I mean, yeah. Yeah. This is what's his, uh, the fury that you just like knife him. Just knife. Him. Yeah. Uh, the easiest way to get him is to knife him. Really? Like, <laughs> I I find that boss battle tough. I find that really tough oh, as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah. As, as soon as you kind of like figure out just kind of keeping close to him behind the pillars, ducking behind the pillars, hopping behind him and knifing him, it, it gets really quite easy. It's like you just got to learn his patterns and just twig him down. Yeah. Until he starts flying around, then he gets a bit mental. Yeah, I think it's probably the hardest <laughs> but the, one. You could do like a, like a five, six hit knife combo, uh, and that really takes him down. So, well, yeah. well, I didn't know that. I, I usually try and go for a no kill. Oh, so, right, yeah. Uh, oh, so do I, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I try and do that every game that I play, and, like, yeah, I, I would never use a knife. Or a yeah, <laughs> but I, I think I don't think there's any uh, actual bonus to... Isn't there no bonus to, to trying to do a stamina kill on the Fury? I, can't I don't really, know. No. I don't know. No idea. No, maybe you get a, you get a moon rock or something. 
you get an achievement or something like that. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah you'd probably get some achievement. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, I'm not sure if that one counts just because his suit rips and he dies, whatever, doesn't he? They, I think they all died on him. They, they all kind of explode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they oh, all explode. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, which oh. is kind of strange. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really work out like that. Sorry. But the, the end when you sneak up on him and just basically you sneak up and grab him uh, and he just shoots himself. Really? Was well, that what happens? Yeah, that, I never saw that's, that. That's how you get his uh, his camo, isn't it? Uh, mm. By going up and basically doing the hold up thing with him, and he takes his own life. I just know if you forward the clock, if you leave it for like a week or something, yeah. he dies himself. Yeah, he does, <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's also if you when you're fighting against him, if you put in the Konami code, uh, it shows you where he is on the map. Mm. So. Mm. Very random little thing. It's a bit anticlimactic that he kills himself. If, uh, yeah, you're, like he's this legendary sniper that's gonna go down for the best battle in history, yeah. and then he just kills himself. I don't even think his weapon isn't. It's not no, lethal rounds. Yeah, it's not he, lethal rounds. So yeah, he, he tranks you and drags you all the way back to the to the uh, med lab or whatever yeah. the lab type thing like, every time, isn't it? It's like yeah. you see that poster as you wake up. Yeah. I don't know that poster. I don't know oh. that moderately hot bikini model. Oh yeah, they're they're everywhere. They're, they're all over. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, so um, my favourite okay. Metal Gear game was uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, where if you tracked your boss, they did actually not die, although it was kind of strange. Well, Solidus didn't die in the end if you tracked him, but all the others looked pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fat Man died. Fat Man did die. Oh, did yeah, die. They, all, they all pretty much died. Oh, <laughs> yeah. except, except for Vamp. Yeah. Vamp did not die. In fact, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you see, I really liked MGS two because I feel like it it really expanded the story to a ridiculous point. Like, yeah. I, I but I really I really enjoyed a just really broad story. It introduced a lot of characters, a lot of them introduced stuff about the Patriots, about AIs, and all this sort of and all this sort of stuff. Like, and um. One really weird thing that I love about it was if you got substance, there was a weird skateboarding mini game. Oh it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a really strange thing to bring up, but it had this really great sound. I played through. I don't know how many times I played through that skateboarding game, just trying to get everything in it. But um, but the actual game, um, like I really, I really actually appreciate um, Kojima going and introducing a new character like Raiden, even though he was very poorly received I felt that by the end of it you actually appreciated him that bit more because as I started he was very much a blank slate he was he was you he was this guy who'd been in all these VR missions which actually turns out to be a fan theory but it makes a lot of sense and uh, by the end he's turned out to be a child soldier he has this really like he was just brought there to be in a simulation and there's a ridiculous amount of cutscenes and but it was just it was just really good. I really enjoyed it, and um, even if, I would have loved it to bet at the start it was longer because I thought the tanker mission was really fun to like see Snake with that with those new the aiming the new aiming and everything. That mm. I thought that was really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved MGS too. Yeah, I mean, uh, I do think that part of the reason why there was the whole bait and switch was to kind of cause that. Uh, annoyance of the fans that he was like well I know what you want but I'm not going to give you what you want because particularly I'm a little bit like bitter about the fact that I have to make another one of these uh, and I, I, I well I didn't enjoy playing through it uh, I'm glad of the fact that I did play through it just to try and understand and also see that a lot of it is kind of Kojima's big joke on the fans for being so adamant that we wanted the, the solid snake game yeah, yeah. When when he you know he'd already put out quite a few Solid Snake games if he'd taken the original Metal Gears as well, yeah. uh, so he wanted to try something new and he did and he also kind of uh, did the whole thing where it was you know you don't by the end of it you don't really know what's real and what's not and a lot of that is left up just yeah to two people to try and figure out for themselves and obviously no one's right and no one's wrong because it's never really defined you know. 
like some of the things like why does vamp keep coming back like there's loads of crazy fan theories about like yeah. him being revived by water and weird but, things like but the that. Wa the yeah. water had too much oxygen in it to keep the water <laughs> has too much oxygen in it to keep you alive <laughs> of course of course that makes sense of course um, why did I not think of that that Metal Gear Ray battle towards the end that was um, that just seemed so intimidating at the start and then you just kind of like I've played through it I don't know how many times now but at this point I just get to the Metal Gear Ray's and just like shoot shoot that's one gone that's another gone you know I find that really tough and it's just yeah it's really tough to like it's really tough but like once you play through it like yeah. you just kind of get into like a rhythm like it's just there's like pinpoint like accuracy between you firing them firing and then you running away from their shots though which I find like really like like it's just all go, especially yeah. if you play it on like the normal, yeah, like even on the normal difficulty. I think it's like you need to fight seven of them, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's pretty damn ridiculous. But Metal Gear Ray is, was definitely the one of the weaker of the Metal Gears. <laughs> so you, you you beat him in four with Rex. Yeah. Like, so you know how good can yeah. it really be? And with a with a banged up Rex. Oh yeah. That was, left there for yeah, a while. Yeah, shitty, rusty Rex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a mess. But and and rays were supposed to be made to destroy, like Battle Gears, weren't they? Yeah. Wasn't, that, wasn't that the one that was made to take out? Yeah, Battle the, Gears? the Marines yeah. were making it to do that. I think. Yeah, yeah. that was like anti Metal Gear, Metal Gear. <coughs> yeah, good, good job, uh, Scott Dolph, <laughs> that guy. Uh, oh, that poor fella. That was poor. Marines. Yeah, they they all they all died. Um, I guess yeah. R.I.P. the Marines. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the yeah. Marines from Metal Gear Solid 2 <laughs> Memorial Cast. <laughs> did you did you ever mess with the Marines in it? Like throw like a stun grenade into I, I, I enjoy like, when I just bump into one and they all turn around. It's like like all the little exclamation marks come up. But you find the uh, you find the guy who's <laughs> like in his in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I think it. I think if, I forget how it happens. But I think if you go through like a certain way or a second time or something, you get to the last one and none of them have their pants yeah, on or something. Yeah, I think and it's just that's yeah. pretty good. I mean, yeah, that's that's what Metal Gear fans I think, want. I think. I think it yeah. definitely is. If you, punks, yeah, you play punks. through the fourth one, you've been touched by a sexy octopus woman, then probably <laughs> is what the fans want. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,